Hi, welcome back to the next section, Network Security. We will learn about the security attacks and security. Let's begin with the video, Managing TCP IP Network. In this video, we will take a look at how we can manually configure network settings. Before we start making any changes to the TCP IP configuration, make sure to create a backup of the Network Manager configuration file using this command. Also create a backup of the ETC network interfaces file in the same way. Before starting the manual configuration, first let's check our current IP address, which has been assigned to the system automatically by DHCP. We can check the details graphically by right-clicking on the networking icon in the top right panel and then selecting connection information. We can see that the current IP address of our system is 10.0. .2.15. Next, we can check this information using the if config command line. If we just want to check the available Ethernet devices on the system, we can run this command. This command will list a one line description of all the available Ethernet devices on the system. If we want a more detailed insight into the network interface, we can use the LSHW tool. This tool gives detailed information about the other capabilities of the hardware. Now we will disable Network Manager and then set the details of the IP address manually. To disable Network Manager, navigate to Network Manager directory and edit the networkmanager.com file. Here, first add this line and then change the line managed equals false to managed equals true and save the file. Now open the interfaces file present in network directory in an editor of your choice. We see that by default, there is no information regarding the eth-0 interface. Edit the file and add the information. Make sure to add the IP details according to your network settings. When done, save the file and then reboot the computer to disengage Network Manager. If you wish to create a virtual network adapter, open the interfaces file and edit it as shown. By doing this, we have added two IP addresses to the single Ethernet card. We can do this to create multiple instances of the network card. Save it. Once the editing is complete, restart the networking service using this command. Next, we take a look at how to configure the appropriate name server that is to be used if the IP address is being configured manually. To make the changes, edit the resolve.conf file in any editor and add these lines. Doing so, we will be able to configure the IP details successfully.